We're at Canadian Tire. What am I doing at Canadian Tire? Methyl hydrate. Let's get two. I've got my Open Flash tablet connected to my OBDB port and this is showing all the uh, parameters of the motor, oil temperature, air fuel ratio, etc, etc. One of the important things to look out for is the advanced multiplier right there. You can see that it's at 0.75. That's not good. That should be at 1.0 at all times. If it's lower than 1.0, it means that the computer is pulling timing out of the motor because the octane uh, of the gas may be low, other factors like that. Uh, right now, I'm running a 91 octane tune and I'm running Chevron 94 octane gas in the tank. I should be okay, but as you can see, I'm not. What I can do about this is I can add octane booster to the gas tank I can add a little bit of E85 to the gas tank, maybe 10%, or I can also add methyl hydrate, which I just bought at Canadian Tire. I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, about 10%, and let's see what happens to this car. Oh look, look at that beautiful TRD fuel cap cover. That looks awesome. Hmm, methyl hydrate. Methyl hydrate. Is this a good idea? So with the help of my assistant, hello assistant. Hello. I will be putting methyl hydrate in my gas tank. We're gonna put the full, almost four liters, methyl hydrate into the gas tank. I have a full tank of gas. This will give me around 10%. Oh, that feels... Might feel cool. Yeah, it feels cool. It's tornado. It's like a tornado, yeah. Almost done. Almost done, almost done. This liquid really goes up quick. There's a gas tank inside. That's where the gas goes. If you put marble in there, then... Oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> Don't do that. What if you put marble? That'd be bad. That might get stuck in there, then you can never put gas in. It'll cost you thousands of dollars to get it back up. Don't put marbles in your gas tank. <laughs> oh. Okay, as you saw, I put methyl hydrate in my gas tank. Now, what that's going to do for me, what that's going to do for me, is that it will raise the octane of the gas. In other words, it's resistance to knock. Uh, why doesn't everybody do this? Well, there are some bad side effects possible. For example, methyl hydrate does not fully mix with the gas perfectly, not as well as E85. So sometimes it will stay at the bottom of the tank and so the full effects may not, not occur. Also, methyl hydrate can be bad for some components in the car. Uh, E85, the cars are built for E85, so they have highly resistant uh, fuel system components, but methyl hydrate could cause some damage. Now, I've done a little bit of research, and people do add methyl hydrate, and it has been recommended by the petroleum manufacturers if it is used together with some other uh, modifying chemicals uh, that will allow it to remain in suspension. Um, so I'm just using a very small amount. It's maybe about 8% or actually less than 8%. And so I don't believe it's going to adversely affect my fuel system and it will raise the octane rating and allow me to get uh, full power. But of course I cannot, I cannot recommend that anyone else try this at this point because there is a potential for some damage. But I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you know the results. Okay, I've been driving for a few kilometers for a while, but it takes a while for the methyl hydrate to work its way through the fuel system so you don't see results right away. Right now we're running at advanced multiplier of 0.78. So before it was 0.75, now 0.78. I expect it to keep rising as I keep driving. Okay, a few more kilometers and now the advanced multiplier is at 0.81. Okay, I've driven about 65 
kilometers. And as you can see, the advanced multiplier is now back up to one, where it should be. That means the uh, ECU is giving me full timing, I'm getting full power, and that is because of the methyl hydrate that I added uh, just a short time ago. So methyl hydrate does work as an octane booster, but is it good for the car? Okay, time for some education. First, the good. Uh, methyl hydrate is the same as methanol. Okay, so I can't memorize all these facts, so I do have to read them off. Uh, so methyl hydrate is a chemical with the formula CH3OH. It's used in top fuel dragsters, monster trucks, and in American open wheel racing, where its lack of smoke, when for example there's an accident, there's no smoke, allows drivers that are behind to see their way through, to maneuver through the accident. So it's a safety feature for American IndyCar racing. Uh, it's used in Europe, in their fuel supply in Europe, 3%. Uh, is methyl hydrate right now. So that's all the good things about methyl hydrate. What are the bad things about methyl hydrate? Well, methyl hydrate attacks aluminum. It's corrosive to aluminum. So when it's used in high concentrations, it can wreck the aluminum in your fuel system. Also, of course, it's uh, toxic. So even though it's an alcohol, don't drink it. So methyl hydrate is safe in the engine system in small quantities, perhaps well, in Europe, obviously, 3%. Uh, I'm thinking 10% may be safe. And uh, because gasoline already has anti-corrosive agents in it, which may help control the methyl hydrate that's in the fuel system. So methyl hydrate is used in high horsepower applications because it actually has an ox oxygen atom in it, which helps the burn. Also, it's a cooling agent. Uh, it absorbs energy as it evaporates. This allows the combustion temperatures to be lower, which allows less chance of pre-ignition or, or ping, which means you can add more uh, boost, you can add more ignition timing, more fuel, more power. And that's why it works when I added it to my FRS. It uh, allowed me to use full timing that was in my tune, which gave me full power. So it does work. Uh, it is corrosive. I still can't recommend it to anyone else to try this. So this was just an experiment for me to try myself. I can't recommend to try it. It did work in this case. So try it at your own risk. Also, methyl hydrate is expensive. Uh, it's more expensive than E85. It's over $2 a liter. Uh, but it's very convenient because it's at every Canadian tire. You can get it everywhere. So am I going to try it again? Yes, I am. I'm going to try it again and we'll continue boosting with my electric supercharger. So, thanks for watching Photo, Photo Mike's Garage. See you next time.